Hello there, yakking and tracking today. The Dampfbahn Verein Zürcher Oberland. It's German for the steam club of the Zurich Highlands or Zurich Overland uh, near Zurich, Switzerland. Now, what the heck was some country bumpkin like me doing over in Zurich? Well, uh, my wife and I lived in Liechtenstein, which is not too far away from Zurich, of course. We lived there for three years and we had two of our boys there. The DVZO, or Tefal said O, as you'll hear in German, uh, has been there for a number of years and is part of an abandoned rail spur rail line between the villages of Hinville and Bauma. Bauma is the main station and Hinville is the turnaround point. Before we even moved to Europe, I heard about this little train. So I thought I would head out there and it was a foggy, foggy morning, but then all of a sudden out of that fog comes a Swiss time machine, this beautiful six-wheeled locomotive, and behind it a short consist of immaculate vintage cars. And so I followed it in my rental car back to uh, the main station in Balma, just taking videos along the line. Uh, I believe some of these are from Barrettsville, which is where the trains pass. Now, a little bit more about the DVZO operation. They have at least two, if not more, steam locomotives in their collection and also some historic electric locomotives because the line is also electrified. And this particular portion of line was operated by the Swiss Federal Railway, or SBB, for a number of years, and then it was retired and turned over to the club, which purchased it. Everything has been locked in time. The equipment on that line, all of it's very manual, relies a lot on the cables running right beside the track. So everything from the switches to the crossing arms and crossing gates to the signals for the train engineer to understand where he needs to be putting his or her train, all of that is manual and very vintage matching to the equipment that's up front and, the, and what you're riding in. So when they operate, they only operate three seasons a year, which is why I say, if you're ever in Zurich, but in the spring, summer, and fall, and you just have a spare afternoon on the weekends, you might wanna go and check them out. And depending on the weather, depending on the season, the equipment that they run changes. And it would be another almost three years until I actually climbed aboard the DVZO. We'd already had our first son, and so we took him, and we eventually, brought some of our other family members who came as guests, we brought them. The experience on board DVZO is just what you would expect. Super authentic, classic second and third class passenger cars, uh, a post car or a mail car. There's also on certain trains a buffet wagon or buffet car uh, where you can have lunch. You have to call ahead and reserve it, of course. You're riding in authentic Swiss rail history from the engine to the last car. All of it has been meticulously restored, keeping the legendary history of railroading in Switzerland alive. And I can't thank that group enough for what they're doing. Great for railroad fans like me and also makes for a great outing with your family. It's very family friendly. They help you on board with strollers. Uh, the windows come down and you can, you can just get the wind in your face. The, coal cinders in your hair if you like. Me and my son got a little bit of that in our hair. The tickets or the fares that they offer are round trip from either Hinwil or Bauma and back. Uh, you can also do one way or you can do kind of a mixture of that where you get off in the middle and you can go hiking and then the train will pick you back up. Um, it's only a few kilometers between the villages and even shorter distance in between all of the intermediate stops that you're going to make. To cap it all off, they have put a lot of effort and a lot of capital investment into their depot area, which is this amazing, beautiful covered wooden pavilion where they store the trains when they're not in use and they're also on display. You can walk right up to them, get up close and personal with railroading history. They even have some special exhibits from time to time like uh, steam powered saws, like from a sawmill. Just magical to, to kind of see these things up close having my kid climb all over them was kind of fun too. And of course, in that depot area, you can find yourself a typical Swiss bratwurst. You got swag, which you can pick up at the depot. They converted one of the old freight cars into a little uh, souvenir shop, and that's where I got my uh, DVZO official souvenir coffee cup.
So if you're going to head out there, here are my recommendations. First, you want to, to, to probably set aside about a half a day, um, maybe a little bit more if you want to go and chase the railroad. You can certainly do that a lot easier if you have a car. But if you are there on public transport, you can still, still lots of places where you can get out and let the train, the uh, next train come by and, and take lots of great pictures. You're going to want to make sure, like anything else before you go, to check their website, check out the timetable, make sure they're, of course, running. It's an old railroad, a lot of things can happen and plans can kind of change. Public transport, it's easy to get to either Bauma or Hinville using uh, the Swiss Federal Railway uh, connection options by train. In fact, uh, the SBB train, the electrified one, pulls right up next to where the uh, old steam-powered locomotive is, one uh, track over on the platform. So you could literally walk from one time period of railroading into the next, uh, buying your ticket right there on the platform. So to close out this portion of the video, here are some pictures that I took on one of our trips and I decided that I'd touch them up a little bit and send them into the DVZO team. Well, it turns out they ended up sending me two round trip tickets in return. So herzlichen Dank, Dankefeel Malls. Devotseo team, as you can tell, my Texas accent is still shining through quite well with my Swiss German attempts, as always. Well, that's enough yakking from me. Let's do some tracking now. What do you say? The DVZO can certainly speak for itself. Here it is in its own sights and sounds.
Armin! Hoi samen! 